mere of Paddy Bigginess. No like it, no light. Sounds nothing like it. You are Paddy Bigginess. Nothing like it. So you're doing actually right now? Yeah. Hello, internet. Say hi, Ben. Hello. It's the Shemi's own Ben. You may know him off, off Twitter. He's the, the grumpy one, but he's putting on a smiley face for today. Anyway, we're going to go on a trip. We're going to head out west here from Deansgate. We're going to go visit all the, all the Metrolink stops on the Altingham line. We're gonna head out east. No, not east. Whatever. We are now approaching Cornbrook. Once you change from Manchester Airport, East Eastbrook, the Traffic Centre, Media City UK, and Eccles. So we've made it to Cornbrook, first stop. What do you think about Cornbrook? It's a bit isolated, but when they finish all the developments, it'll probably look more built up than some of the city centre stops, to be honest. Yeah, it's a bit desolate and the wind's died down now, but I know on a really bad day, this is really bad for wind up here. Anyway, where are we getting from? Seven minutes. This is a service to Auckland. The next stop will be Trafford Bar. Stop number four, Old Trafford. Yes, that Old Trafford. It's right next to the Old Trafford cricket ground, which is still just sport, and I have no, no, no idea about anything to do with sport. This is where they do sport, isn't it? Yeah, this one's cricket. This one's cricket. Yeah. Also, Old Trafford's unusual for having staggered platforms. This one's missing, and it's all the way over there. Former railway station, you can see the abandoned platforms over there. Straight ahead, you can just about see the edge of Old Trafford. I think people are into that kind of thing. I think it's the blue ones that play there. This is the service to Auckland. The next stop will be Stratford. Oh, no. Stratford, station number five. It's a bit of a nothing station, isn't it? Typical it's, suburban it, it, X railway, isn't it? It's, it's very nondescript. Mm. Then again, that's kind of Stratford in a nutshell, isn't it? Nondescript as a place. Controversial. Now for a bit of ultimate geeking with Bryn. These streetlights belong to the old British Rail era. Never got replaced in the 90s. Same as the OHLE gantries, oh. they got retained as well. No expense spared on the original Metrolink. Still got the original station building, like many stations on this line. Sadly not doing anything. Hang on, why has it just gone up to 15? Has Metrolink just pulled a Metrolink? I don't like it. Are we, are we trapped in... trapped in Stratford? <laughs> I don't want to be trapped in Stratford. I don't like Stratford. We could walk down the canal. <laughs> So we've made it to sale, but fallen to bits. Yeah, it's, uh, it needs a bit of love. A bit of TLC. Mm. Anyway, I want some coffee. Let's go and find some coffee. Didn't expect a Gen video without a trip to Costa, did you?
another old rail station. Most of them are on this line. But it closed to rail traffic in 91 and reopened a year later in 92 as Metrolink. The next stop will be Timberley. So station number nine, Timberley. For those of a northern persuasion, so not this one, where Frank Sidebottom was from. Ask your parents. It was a it was an early 90s thing. It's pretty pretty well known around Manchester, but nobody else seems to have heard of it. He, he's he's so northern. I don't understand it. What am I? I'm not northern. I'm not southern. Just I don't believe in the Midlands. You're from Middle Earth. So it's another ex railway station. Hence the elongated platforms. And that's the whole reason Metrolink as a tram system is a high platform network. Because they couldn't be bothered to rebuild the station when it was converted. Because that side's got all the modern all the modern um, shelters and this but side just has a bus shelter. So. If you ever see a, a tram going around Manchester with the destination of Timperley, that normally means that all hell has broken loose. Um, this is where they terminate trams and turn them around. If there's problems down navigation road end where it goes to single track. So yeah, if you're in Manchester and you see a tram to Timperley, it's not going well out there. Stop number 10, Navigation Road. Bit of an unusual one. Probably the most interesting on the whole network, I'd say, because of the presence of the level crossing. The level crossing that is just here. I'm sure right about now I'll do some kind of voiceover how it all works. Maybe even a map. I've just made my life hard. Damn it. Oh well. So, back in the day, Navigation Road was purely served by heavy rail services and the world was a much simpler place. However, in the 90s, Metrolink came along and took over the Altingham to Manchester line. Services from Cheshire were then diverted by uh, Stockport. This resulted in a situation that there is today, where both the heavy rail and Metrolink lines are squeezed down to a single line in order to pass through the narrow corridor at Navigation Road. This causes problems for the reliability of the Metrolink line. for each direction. Mm. So, we've made it to our, the end of our journey. We're here at Altingham. Um, you've been watching me and you've been watching Bryn. Bryn, do you want to do a bit of Shameless self-promotion. Yep, go on. So you can follow me on Twitter at show me a sign Bryn. I don't actually have a YouTube channel worth linking to, so don't try and find me there. Anyway, this is the start of doing every station on the Metrolink, and there'll be more like this coming soon. Right, bye internet. Bye-bye. <laughs>